Hey guys, in this video I would like to take a quick look at Nova Launcher Prime 1.1.3 which is a launcher for Android ice cream sandwich devices. Um, I chose to install it on my HTC Velocity 4G as I wanted to hide um, a lot of the HTC apps without rooting my device and I also wanted a different app drawer. I didn't like the HTC Sense um, 3.6 app drawer so let's take a look at the launcher. Um, on my HTC I still have um, the same Sense 3.6 unlock screen which I don't mind, I quite like it. Um, and this is basically what my home screen looks like. I still have the default 5 home screens. It's got a bit of a cube effect when t um, changing between screens. I believe that you can change um, that animation. I'm quite happy with it. And here are all of my apps. As you can see, um, I am sliding um, sideways. In Sense um, 3.6, you usually scroll up and down. It is only in um, Sense um, 4 that you scroll sideways, and not many devices will be getting this update, unless you get the HTC One X, V or S. Um, so you might be able to tell there aren't too many apps, as I have hidden a lot of them. Um, I should be able to show you this in the Nova settings. So here is Draw, Hide Apps, which is a prime feature only available in the paid version. And as you can see, all of the apps that have a tick next to them are currently hidden in my app drawer. So that is about at least um, 20, maybe even 30 different apps, which are all HTC bloatware, are currently hidden. Um, and you can also... Um, to, um, you can also um, change the scroll effect, I quite like the card stack, though there are a few um, different ones, for example in and out See it's sort of got this in and out scroll effect in the, out, um, in the app drawer. Um, you sort of have to go back through the settings each time you want to change it, which is a bit annoying. We have revolving door which is kind of neat. What else do we have? Um, and we also have accordion. This is the last one, or the last one I will be taking a look at. It sort of squeezes them all in together, which is kind of neat. I personally like the stack one. Um, and what else can I show you? We have desktop, home screens and wallpaper. You can change, you know, the desktop grid, the margin width and height. Um, you can have a persistent um, search bar on all of the home screens. Um, we also have the scroll effect for the home screen. They are pretty much the same scroll effects really. So if I wanted to, I could change it to flip. And it would sort of um, flip between the different home screens. I quite like the cube one, really. Um, so draw, uh, dock. Um, so you can enable and disable the dock. You can change the dock icons, etc. Um, and you also have um, dock pages. There's three by default, though I don't really use that feature, to be honest. What else do we have? Look and feel. You know, um, scroll speed, animation speed, etc. We have gestures and buttons. You know, I haven't really been using any of these, to be honest. Um, and we also have unread counts. I believe that you need to install um, this other application. Um, I haven't felt the need for them, really. Um, but that's pretty much it. This was just a really quick um, look at the launcher, really. Though I highly recommend it if you have a device running um, ice cream sandwich, especially if it's a HTC device and um, you want to hide all of the bloatware or if you want a side-scrolling menu. It's got a bit of um, an ice cream sandwich feel to it. You know, it, it doesn't quite look like ice cream sandwich, um, you know, that you would find on the Galaxy Nexus, though it's a lot closer than a lot of um, other launches. 
Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me, and thanks for watching.